This is the key English test. Paper 2. Listening. Test number 2. There are five parts to the test. Parts 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Look at the instructions for part 1. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. The questions 1 to 5 put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About 30. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is 30. So there is a tick in box C. Now we're ready to start. Look at question 1. One. How will Mary travel to Scotland? Are you taking the train to Scotland tomorrow, Mary? No, I'm driving there. It's cheaper. Why don't you go by coach? Oh, no. It takes seven hours. Now listen again. Are you taking the train to Scotland tomorrow, Mary? No, I'm driving there. It's cheaper. Why don't you go by coach? Oh, no. It takes seven hours. Two. Where are the shoes? Mum, have you seen my brown shoes? Yes, they're under the table. No, they're not. I left them on the chair this morning, but they're not there now. There they are, under the window. Now listen again. Mum, have you seen my brown shoes? Yes, they're under the table. No, they're not. I left them on the chair this morning, but they're not there now. There they are, under the window. Three. When will the football match start next week? Does the football match start at quarter past twelve every week? No, it was early this week. It usually begins at two o'clock. So, it'll be the usual time next week? Yes. Now listen again. Does the football match start at quarter past twelve every week? No, it was early this week. It usually begins at two o'clock. So, it'll be the usual time next week? Yes. Four. Which box of chocolates do they buy? Which box of chocolates shall we get Mum for her birthday? Those round boxes with the flowers on are nice. Yes, but that square box is cheaper. But it's Mum's birthday. Let's get the big round one. We've got enough money. OK. Now listen again. Which box of chocolate shall we get Mum for her birthday? Those round boxes with the flowers on are nice. Yes, but that square box is cheaper. But it's Mum's birthday. Let's get the big round one. We've got enough money. OK. Five. When's Wendy's birthday? Wendy, you're 21 on Saturday, aren't you? No. My birthday's on May the 18th. 
Well, Saturday is the 18th. No, it's not. It's the 16th. Now listen again. Wendy, you're 21 on Saturday, aren't you? No. My birthday's on May the 18th. Well, Saturday is the 18th. No, it's not. It's the 16th. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Pete talking to a friend about his holiday. What was the weather like each day? For questions six to ten, write a letter, A to H, next to each day. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi, Pete. You're looking well. Yes, I've just been on holiday in the mountains for a week. You must have had good weather. Well, not really. When I arrived on the Monday, it was very cold. It can be cold in the mountains at this time of the year. Yes. It wasn't very nice, really. Then, on Tuesday, it was so windy. I just stayed in the hotel all day. Did the weather get better? Well, Wednesday was a bit better. There wasn't any wind, and it was sunny most of the day. So, did you do a lot of walking? No. By Thursday, it was very cloudy, and it looked as if it was going to snow. <laughs> and did it? No. But on Friday, it rained a lot. And what about your last day? Well, the weather was getting better, and it was quite warm then. But it was a bit too late. Now listen again. Hi, Pete. You're looking well. Yes, I've just been on holiday in the mountains for a week. You must have had good weather. Well, not really. When I arrived on the Monday, it was very cold. It can be cold in the mountains at this time of the year. Yes. It wasn't very nice, really. Then, on Tuesday, it was so windy. I just stayed in the hotel all day. Did the weather get better? Well, Wednesday was a bit better. There wasn't any wind, and it was sunny most of the day. So, did you do a lot of walking? No. By Thursday, it was very cloudy and it looked as if it was going to snow. <laughs> and did it? No, but on Friday it rained a lot. And what about your last day? Well, the weather was getting better, and it was quite warm then, but it was a bit too late. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to Michael talking to Marina about a new sports centre. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Hello, Marina. Have you been to the new sports centre yet? No, Michael. Where is it? In Long Road. You know, near Bridge Street, behind the station. Oh. Is it good? Yes, it's great. You can do a lot of sports. I played table tennis and volleyball last week. What about tennis? Not yet. They're going to build some tennis courts next year. Is it expensive? Not really, Marina. It's £50 a year if you're 15 to 18. 
and £30 if you're under 15. Oh, that's good, because I'm still 14. And on Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, it stays open late, till 10 o'clock. Oh, great. How did you get there? I got the number 16 bus. It's only 10 minutes from the bus station. Do you want to go next week? OK. Any day except Thursday. Well, why don't we go on Friday? Then we can stay late. Yes, OK. Let's meet after school. Now listen again. Hello, Marina. Have you been to the new sports centre yet? No, Michael. Where is it? In Long Road. You know, near Bridge Street, behind the station. Oh. Is it good? Yes, it's great. You can do a lot of sports. I played table tennis and volleyball last week. What about tennis? Not yet. They're going to build some tennis courts next year. Is it expensive? Not really, Marina. It's £50 a year if you're 15 to 18, and £30 if you're under 15. Oh, that's good, because I'm still 14. And on Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, it stays open late, till 10 o'clock. Oh, great. How did you get there? I got the number 16 bus. It's only 10 minutes from the bus station. Do you want to go next week? OK. Any day except Thursday. Well, why don't we go on Friday? Then we can stay late. Yes, OK. Let's meet after school. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear a conversation about a flat for rent. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello. Lawn Flats Agency. Can I help you? Oh, yes. My name's Mark Jones. I'm phoning about the flat for rent in Putney. I saw the advertisement in the paper. In Putney? Well, yes, Mr Jones, that one's got two bedrooms. Are they double bedrooms? One double and one single. OK. And how much is the rent? Well, it's £440 a month. I see. And where exactly is it? It's number 27 Earsley Street. Oh. How do you spell that? Earsley. It's E-A-R-S-L-E-Y. It's near the train station. And what floor is it on? It's a second floor flat. Has it got any furniture? Yes. It's got some nice modern furniture. Well... It sounds interesting. I'd like to see it, please. Can you come tomorrow? Tomorrow? That's Tuesday? Mm-hmm. Well, only after five o'clock. How about half past five? Yes, that's fine. Oh, one thing I nearly forgot. When will the flat be free to rent? From the 1st of March. OK. See you tomorrow. Bye. Now listen again. Hello. Lawn Flats Agency. Can I help you? Oh, yes. My name's Mark Jones. I'm phoning about the flat for rent in Putney. I saw the advertisement in the paper. In Putney? Well, yes, Mr Jones. That one's got two bedrooms. Are they double bedrooms? One double and one single. OK. And how much is the rent? Well, it's £440 a month. I see. And where exactly is it? It's number 27 Earsley Street. Oh. 
How do you spell that? Earsley. It's E A R S L E Y. It's near the train station. And what floor is it on? It's a second floor flat. Has it got any furniture? Yes, it's got some nice modern furniture. Well, it sounds interesting. I'd like to see it, please. Can you come tomorrow? Tomorrow, that's Tuesday. Mhm.、Mm、well, only after five o'clock. How about half past five? Yes, that's fine. Oh, one thing I nearly forgot. When will the flat be free to rent? From the first of March. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear a tour guide talking about a day trip. Listen, and complete questions twenty-one to twenty-five. You will hear the information twice. Hello, everyone. I just want to tell you about our trip to the town of Chester. The coach will leave at nine fifteen tomorrow morning. It takes about an hour and a half to get to Chester, so we will arrive at a quarter to eleven. You will have time for a cup of coffee before our first visit. This will be to the castle. It is a very interesting old building, and I'm sure you'll enjoy the visit. Tickets for the castle cost three pounds fifty for adults. And if you have children, a family ticket is just eight pounds. There are lots of things to see, and we will be there about two hours. We will take sandwiches for lunch with us, and we will all eat together in a park. You will be pleased to know that tomorrow is going to be sunny. After lunch, we will walk round the old market. You will be able to buy all your presents there. Now, any questions? Now listen again. Hello, everyone. I just want to tell you about our trip to the town of Chester. The coach will leave at nine fifteen tomorrow morning. It takes about an hour and a half to get to Chester, so we will arrive at a quarter to eleven. You will have time for a cup of coffee before our first visit. This will be to the castle. It is a very interesting old building, and I'm sure you'll enjoy the visit. Tickets for the castle cost three pounds fifty for adults, and if you have children, a family ticket is just. Eight pounds. There are lots of things to see, and we will be there about two hours. We will take sandwiches for lunch with us, and we will all eat together in a park. You will be pleased to know that tomorrow is going to be sunny. After lunch, we will walk round the old market. You will be able to buy all your presents there. Now. Any questions? This is the end of part five.